Who would have thought that a rummage sale find would turn into this beautiful beaded bowl? Hi, this is Tweek. Yes, this was a rummage sale find decades ago. I can't even think back to how far ago it was that I found this. It's an old Glade candle stuck in pins and beads, and I am going to tweak it and make it so much more. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you'll need 40 two inch quilting pins. They could be brass, they could be silver. You will need sunburst or starlight beads, your choice of colors, 18 millimeter. And you'll need a lot of them. You'll need some wire, you'll need a votive candle holder, and some tools to help you manipulate the wire. So let's get started. This was an interesting find and it sat for a long time. I found it recently as I was going through some boxes and I thought that is something to tweak and to make better. My design is similar to this, only I added more pins, more beads, better beads. These are all plastic, which is okay, but I wanted some glass in there for more reflection and beauty. And I'm using a more decorative insert, which is beautiful all on its own, but together this becomes quite a wonderful little item here that you can use in a lot of different ways. So we're going to go with our pins. These are two inch quilters pins. I'm using the gold ones or the brass colored ones. If you want to, you can use the silver. I like the color of the brass more because it gives a little more shine, but both ways are good. You will need 40 of these pins and I've got my pins all lined up here that are already beaded and let me show you the bottom tier of this. There's 20 pins and let's put one together. We've got our sunburst beads or starlight beads. They're called both so when you order them online and all the things I'm using here I did order online so we'll leave the descriptions for those items down below the video. So we'll take our pin and for the bottom layer, we're going to have five of these starburst beads and they all interlock with each other, which is kind of interesting and very, very pretty. So I'm just randomly picking five beads and stringing them on this pin. Let's get a green one and I think the green is really pretty. I ordered a bunch of beads and just mixed them all up together. So we have five on the pin there. Now we're going to add one teardrop bead and I'm putting the fat side down and then we're going to gently tuck. Be careful here because I've gotten poked a bunch of times. You're going to tuck this into the bead or into the top of the pin and snap it in place. Now that represents the lower part of the dish. The top part of the dish is a little more simple. You're going to have eight so it's eight starburst, sunburst, starlight, they call them. I had a heck of a time finding them online, but that's what they're called, sunburst. We're putting eight of them. They all kind of sandwich together. I'm not paying attention really to the combination. I'm just making sure I get eight of them on there. And that leaves you a little bit of room to pop into the top of the pin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, trying to hold that down. Sometimes this can be hard. This time it wasn't. You just swing it around, pop it in place, and you've got that. So these two will be hooked together to form the bowl. Now that I've got those all in line, I'm going to work on the bottom of the bowl first. I'm going to take some wire. You could use copper wire. You can use regular beading wire. That's what I'm using. Uh, the beading wire uh, is nice to use, but it slides around in the top of the pin. So we have to take that into account when we put these together. I'm going to use this here as a stopgap. Usually I cut the wire before I string it, but here I'm going to string these on the wire and kind of let this keep them all from coming off. So we're going to go down. I'm going to string one of these and look to see the top of the pin is where I'm going to string it. And to keep myself on track, I'm going to make sure the gold part of the pin is up. So I'm going to string, push through that spot there. Okay, 
and now we're going to add a spacer bead between. What color do we want to use? Right now on this one, I think I'm going to use some clear beads. These are 8 or 10 millimeter beads, your choice. You want just enough of a bead there to keep these pins separated. So just think of it like this. It's going to be a bead, a pin, a bead, a pin, a bead, a pin. And they have all interlock together and that's the bottom. So let's do that. 20 pins with 20 beads in between. Go through the top of the pin. Make sure you keep track because I've kind of messed up a few times where I left out a pin and it throws off the design quite a bit if you don't keep the right number in there. And here I go. Alright, so we've got let's see, one more bead, 20 of each, gosh wouldn't that be a lovely necklace. <laughs> so anyways, we've got these all lined up. Now because I've messed up in the past, I want to make sure a couple of things that I have the right amount of pins on here and that they're all facing up as far as all these gold sides or the brass sides are facing up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, really? I missed one. See? See? I thought I was done. It happened to me once before where one of the pins had, slid, had slid off and I wasn't paying attention and it made for a very interesting bowl. It was all off. So here we go. We've got our 20 pins and our 20 beads. Now we're going to start pulling it together. The problem we'll have here is the wire likes to slide out of the top of that pin. And we'll just adjust as we go, as we tighten up. I am now going to go ahead and cut. Okay. So. This really slides out easily, so that's why I try to keep a handle on it. Okay, we're going to start pulling this together. And as I move this, these little pins want to slide off the wire. Right now it looks pretty good. As you can see. And I'm going to put a knot here. It's going to be very loose because this is all going to want to slide. See, just in me moving the wire pulled out of the top of the pin, I'll have to make sure I adjust as I go. Make sure every head pin has got that wire. I'm going to pull tight. This is where I start wire wrangling. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to get that back in place. See this pin right here on the end? He wants to pop out. Get him back in line. That's the only challenge here on this project is to keep these pins from sliding off the wire. I want it to be up in that spot and the wire likes to slide down. So this one's giving me hassle. I'm trying to pop it back in as carefully as I can. I pulled it tight. I'm going to twist this around just a couple times because I don't trust that the wire is going to stay there. There we go. Now I'm going to make another knot. I want this to stay tight. Okay, that looks good. Now see how they're just sliding out? Just pull them back in. Just sliding out of that spot. Come on, there you go. I've got everybody in their spot. Good. I'm going to give one more just to be safe. 
That worked out pretty well. Not too much wrangling going on there. Making sure that's tight. I like what I see. So let's clip the excess. Okay, there's our bottom. Now this is just enough space that this will sit in. Okay, now we're going to work on the second row. That means we're going to be going between each one of these. And that pattern is with these guys that had the eight star of our sunburst beads on it. This time we're going to hook the circular hole with the circular end with the circular end. So we won't have any slipping in and out. That's going to be good. What we're going to do is start somewhere, get some wire. Again, I'm going to leave this hooked because it is a stop gap. In case this all falls apart, it'll stop. So here we go. Got our wire. And now I'm going to use some of these blue beads. I thought this, these were pretty. Again, the size of bead, you want to use eight, not smaller than eight, because we need enough bead there to gap between the pins. So an eight to a 10 to a 12 is probably good. And that's what I'm using here. Trying to see, do I have enough? I need 20 of them. All right, here's where we're gonna go. We're going to add a bead. Okay, to start. Now we're gonna come in the hole there, the bottom of the pin, and come in with the other pin. Now this time we want, again, we want that gold brassy part up because that's the inside of the bowl. And that's a good way to keep yourself on track. So you've got a bead and a circle and a circle of the pins and another bead. Okay, then try to keep your wire short. You've got it all back here, but to string it, you want to try to not move these too much because I don't want them to pop out of their wire again. So we've got that. Oh, we'll get you guys over here. Go through that bottom, go through the next. The gold is up and add a bead. You can see what you're doing here. See how pretty that's going to be. And now let's keep going all the way around 20 beads. Go into the bottom one. Bring its neighbor with the gold side up and add a bead. Go through the bottom one. Bring its neighbor along and a bead. And I'm going to go all the way around. Here we go. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Where's 20? Where did he go? Oh, he's right here. Okay, he's hiding. And then the bead is right there. Okay. Cut this off. I'm giving myself a lot to work with here because the wire gets slippery in my hands. All right, everybody over here. Now we've got our two ends, and we're going to meet them up. So I'm going to very gently pull. And I'm pulling it. Everybody's staying in place down there. Good. I want to see if this is now when I want to put this in to help. Okay. I've got all these guys in here. Oh wow, so slippery. Look how fast I lost the... Here, put you out for a second. Look at how fast my 
wire slipped. Here's my wire wrangling going again. Let's start at one side here. Make sure these guys, this side here is... Okay. Try to pull them tight. Now I'm going to make a very quick, because I'm losing my one side here is slipping. Okay, pull tight and I'm going to twist this around a few times. See, don't ask me how it got so short there, but it did. Very slippery wire. I think it looks good. I'm going to get another Let's do it the short side. Okay, I think I got it. Does it really look good? Nope. It just slid. See? Get tightened back up. I got lucky there. It didn't all come apart. Okay. This is the this is the one part here that gets me is because it's it's a lot of this wire is very slippery for me. Are you going to stay this time? Yeah. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go under. Right here with my fingers, I'm going to come under with the wire. And I'm going to make sure. Just trying to get that knot to stay in place. Make another knot, and then I'm going to tug on it really tight with my tools. Sounds like a little tambourine. Okay, we've got it. How I want it to be there? Good. No, I'm going to put another knot because I do not trust. <laughs> Look at all this extra wire. I had him evened out at the start and it got real short real fast but we've got it there's a nice solid knot there all the pins have stayed in place and this is where you put this sits in there and then we're going to bring the sides up i'm always glad when that part's done because to me that's the wire wrangling part I like, I like the way it's sitting. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off that extra bit. That's why I use a lot of, give myself a lot of wire. Look at all that wire. Look at the difference in the two sides. Just because it gets slippery. So here we go. Next, set your, whatever you're using. I'm using these decorative, votive holders and we're going to string together this time at the top between each of the pins we're going to put two of our sunburst or starlight or starburst beads and so I'm going to just randomly I need 20 times two so what I do is just for kicks and giggles here is I just line up 20 of them and I just all I want is for them they can be random colors but I want them to be different colors so I don't want two of the same in there I want them to be different just a little bit and I'm not oh I am using the clear ones on this one okay so we can use clear so whatever you've got and I like the green line up 20 pairs this should be enough all right now simple start stringing them so get some more of this slippery wire you can use copper wire if you'd like but I thought I got a tighter a, t a tighter fit with the wire. The copper is a little harder for me to work with. So here we go. We're going to start by coming through the top of that pin. And we're going to add two of our starbursts, our sunbursts, two of our beads, and then we're going to go through the next. That's going to be the top of the dish. 
and we're just going to go around a pin, two beads, a pin, two beads, a pin, two beads, so we're all the way around the other side. Okay, so here we go. And we are at the end. Look at We're done. So now here comes a little more wrangling. Here we go. That I want a little more on this side this time. So I'm going to pull this through so I get more leeway on this end to work with. Okay. And I'll go ahead and cut this. See, as soon as I let go, they all flap down. They don't come completely apart. Thank goodness. Okay, here we go with the wrangling. We're going to pull this up and see how the wire wants to fall out of that head, the pin. I'm going to go around and adjust that. On every single pin, I want to make sure the wire is in the top of the pin. Okay, and you can do that either by using your finger to grab up the wire That's where the uh, the copper wire has it all over the wire, but I like the tightness of the final product. See how that pulls up. Everything wants to flopsy on over. Come on, up you go. And we can't put a knot in there. One of the things I found helpful was to take one of these pins and open it up and use it to scoop up against the pin and pull the wire in place. Scoop up against, take the wire, scoop it into place and that works out pretty well and once I do that that will keep them tight and they won't slide out again and oh my fear gets in the way oh I think I got it okay I'm gonna do another one see how that pulls the sunburst beads up around the lip of the votive That's so pretty so I'm gonna give it another the sunburst beads too like to get caught in the wire. So this, when I say wire wrangling, I mean wire wrangling. But it's so pretty in the end, is it not? Here we go. Get rid of this extra. Actually, you know what? Give it an extra pull to make sure, because I do not trust. Okay. Here we go. And all that wrangling gives you. Look at how pretty that is. <gasps> Look at that. This could be a candy dish. It could be a dish for pins or earrings or jewelry. Or you could put a votive candle in it. <sighs> yes, that would be pretty too. But I am going to use it. Put a light in there. And just let it shine. <laughs> So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, it's worth the wrangle. You end up with such a beautiful, heavy, lovely piece. I cannot wait to make use of this. See you again. <laughs>